Hey guys, hope you're doing well. If you're like me and your car's a little bit older, pieces are bound to break and just kind of wear out over time. It's normal, it happens, but as of recently, it's been my speakers. They're kind of fading out and there's a little bit of a rattle. So today we're gonna be pulling out these old speakers, replacing them with the new ones, and it should sound a whole lot better. So I picked up two sets of these Pioneer TS G650s from Best Buy. I actually did curbside pickup, so it was actually pretty easy to just kind of pull up from there. And this set cost about $50, so getting two of them was just about $100, and this is for all four door panels. Now if you're unsure what speakers will actually fit your vehicle, there's a website, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm gonna link it in the description box down below. That's the website that I used, and you can just put the specs of your vehicle, and it'll actually give you a wide array of speakers that will fit your vehicle for whatever application. These are specifically for the door panels, but that website will show you basically all the speakers you can get for different areas of your vehicle. Now it might seem a little daunting at first if you're not super familiar with just kind of digging into your vehicle But it's actually a lot easier than you might think It's really just four steps whenever you break it down The first one being to remove the door panels which of all the vehicles I've removed the door panels of the fusion is definitely the easiest Secondly you remove the speaker itself It's a handful of bolts the third step being you actually just swap out the speakers Which is basically just making sure all the components can transfer onto your new speaker And lastly you button everything up and put the door panels back so starting off with step one, removing the door panels. So to remove the door panel, you really only need these few things. A pry tool to give yourself some leverage, and it's plastic so you don't have to worry about dinging anything up. If you don't have one of these, you can definitely use a flathead screwdriver, but I would recommend going this route. And then these three bits. So we have a 10 millimeter, a seven millimeter, and the smallest one right there is a 732nd. So the 732nd is actually pretty dinged up, but two of the bolts that actually hold it in position are right between a five millimeter and a six millimeter. So the 732nd actually works for it. But I imagine if you have a five and a half, that should do the job as well. And then a drink as a reward. So there's five bolts total and we're gonna start from the bottom. So down here, we've got two bolts. These are the seven millimeters, I believe. So let's go ahead and get started with these. Also, make sure you do not lose these. Now you're gonna come right here to where your window controls are. You're gonna pop the pry tool basically on the little seam right here. I'm just gonna lift it up just like that. Here are your two smaller screws. There's also a plug right here for the window controls. But if you can see that little bottom section, just press down on that and then you pull out and you're good to go. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. Just like that. You undo these two bolts. It might be different sizes, but all the bolts I've been using on this vehicle are just kind of circling and they might just be from somewhere else, but seem to be about the right size. And the last bolt is the 10 millimeter bolt that's behind this little plastic cover right here. Now for all the time I've been working on this vehicle, I've never been able to get that plastic piece out cleanly because to get it out, you kind of have to leverage it at an angle and pulling it at that angle kind of goes against the little hooks that the plastic piece holds in position with. But if you're worried about breaking that piece, I went ahead and linked that piece in the description box down below as well. So if you want to do this and you just don't want to break anything specifically, you can just order a replacement piece and then you don't have to worry about it. I just, I've never been able to do it and everybody that I ask for perspective, they haven't been able to do it either. So um, if you're really worried, you can order it online. It's basically like the only leverage you can get is on the right side after you pull the door handle. So that's what we're gonna do. Then you have the bolt right there. All right, next with the pry tool, you're gonna go around the edges and start lifting up to undo the clips. You're basically gonna squeeze it in here to start lifting up until you hear that little disattachment noise, whatever you wanna call it. And just do it around. It's gonna take a little bit of effort and whatnot, but nonetheless, if you've done this before, it'll be a lot easier because it'll kind of like undo all the brittleness of the piece. But as you can see, just kind of getting yourself going. Pretty straightforward. This plug was for the windows, this one's for the locks, and uh, this one's actually for the door handle itself. You basically just kind of maneuver like that. And you can see this is a pretty sad looking speaker. So there's three bolts, one right here, one right there, one right there, and there's this plug at the bottom. And these bolts are also seven millimeters. And for the speaker plug, it is a little tedious just because it's old and brittle, but basically you just press down on it and there's this little hook and eventually it'll come off. So here is our old speaker, as you can see, very, very bad condition. Um, this is all just dirt, it's accumulated over the years. Um, it's actually torn apart. So uh, yeah, definitely about time that we replace it. And yes, of course, you can do amps, subs, all that stuff. It's definitely really cool. And not saying I won't do that down the road, but 
that is outside of my area of familiarity so we're just doing speakers for today so this is what the speaker comes with basically you have this piece this is like a little covering that's the speaker itself and then on the back you can see some of the connections so it does come with this little wire right here we're actually going to be placing this in this housing and basically just solder it all up so it connects to everything so that way you can still use the factory plug but you'll have a new speaker basically so that you can just use the original equipment without having to worry about you know cutting into the wires themselves and that way if you need to change anything out later down the road uh, you basically still have all the original equipment in there just with upgraded parts so this is the housing without the old little speaker piece and as you can see right here kind of line it up you could actually just solder these connectors onto these pins right here and then basically it's the same thing We'll clean it up and everything. It's just didn't want to get all that stuff like wet or muddy or anything before we actually finish all this stuff. We should be able to use just the factory connection and just use this as essentially like a factory replacement, even though it's an upgraded speaker. All right, so you can see right here, it's all taken care of. And we also put some electric tape over the wires just so you don't have to worry about nothing. And now we're just gonna plug it in, test it, make sure it works. Speakers in, everything is working as it should. So now just wrap it all up. All right, I'm just finishing up, and there we go. So there's not really gonna be a way to like showcase the audio quality of the whole thing, but it does sound a lot better, and on top of that, there's no more rattle. So that's basically it. If you can get your door panels off, replacing your speakers is a pretty universal experience, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next one.